on that power supply bill. More, more. There we go. You need to give it a little going into this first one. Okay? A little bit. It goes Kelly. Kelly, we are at the Raptor School. I don't know what what do we call this thing? Uh, Raptor Off Rodeo. This is Off Rodeo, and uh, we just they just did a nice walk around for the uh, performance. Did a nice walk around the Bronco in case uh, there's people here that have not experienced this at all. Yeah, absolutely. There's there's folks of all walks of life here. It seems. <laughs> yeah. So the hills here are just I can't describe it. It's just beautiful here. This place is uh, this is a gem. I can see why people like. This and yes. Moab are the ones that, if you want the views, this is the ones you want to do. But it's almost time to get in one of these things. I want to walk around first. I want to kind of just show you guys the building, what you're going to see when you come into this course, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm above Mitchell. My name is Ari Grunewald. I'm the Chief Program Engineer for the Bronco Raptor. Um, I've been on the program since the beginning and super excited to have you guys out here to take a look at what we've set up for customers. So um, success today is you're all leaving with the Permagrin um, and I think the team has done an excellent job of setting that up. Coach staff, we're going to load up into the, in the Raptors and we're going to head out onto the trail network that we have here in the area, right? Uh, Cottonwood Pass Road. And this is going to take us over to Raptor Valley. Raptor time, Kelly. Here we go. Woo. All right, the experience so far has been pretty awesome. They went through and they've told us all about the Broncos. Now, for we're not a Raptor owner, so this no. is, makes it even more special for us because for sure. we're going to get to experience this thing, how it was built, how uh, Ford intended this thing to be used, which is, uh, from what I can tell of this course, what we were hinted at, <laughs> you're going to get some high-speed fun. So I think we're going we're gonna to have a blast with that. Kelly, you've been to the Austin one. Where, yeah. How is the, the location of this? What's the kind of difference? So it's really actually pretty different. The views are pretty similar kind of coming in mm -hmm. uh, from a hilly perspective, but actually getting in here and kind of seeing it getting on on grounds is significantly different than the yeah. Texas one. Like we were in our uh, our van as we're coming in. It was like, I didn't realize we were off-roading before right. we get to off rodeo. Right. So, and this is the same, it's not the same course, but it's the same area that they do the Las Vegas off rodeo for regular Bronco yes. owners but they have their own building and everything yes. as you've seen in the video two and separate experiences yes and uh i'm ready to experience this let's do this we've made it there was a little drive on pavement to yep. get to one of the op obstacle areas they do um they're going through the cool thing is they're going through this course something you guys know i've been weary of off rodeo because i'm old dog like old dog has his own trick back in my day but i will say for newbies like hearing how the instructors are going through yes. everything like like it seems so elementary we want to stay in a good distance between each other as well um that way no one is so far back so if you want these cars are very capable yes it's bumpy but it's not as bumpy as, in, as other vehicles so you can get a little bit closer if you feel like it but there's no pressure on you to try to catch the car in front of you or catch the <laughs> raptor in front of you. Aww. See, but that's the kind of instruction they're yes. giving. It's it's we very group, which is a it's a very elementary for me and yes. you, but this is, if you bought a raptor and you bought the ultimate off-road and you have zero off-road experience or just very minimal, I think this is the way to go to come do this, yes. this course because just from the, the service roads we're on right now, this might overwhelm some people. Oh, 100%. You know, I... It, it's funny because when we when I did the ladies off rodeo last year, it was the same thing. Like girls were like, "Woo, we're off roading." It's like this is just a dirt road. Like yeah. so to really kind of get you started, Dave, the dust cloud. 
<laughs> but yeah, so this is great. It's it's great beginner experience. This is not the go-fast place, right? We do want to make sure we have good stewards. Dave just got in trouble. Have a good name as off-roaders. <laughs> We did a looks like a lot of just loose gravel. We did mm -hmm. several miles of that. Um, pretty fun. I know for you, you said sports bra, ladies. Hundred percent, high impact sports bra, ladies. <laughs> Highly recommended. <laughs> really fun. The terrain is just like just keeps changing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you go from uh, rocky. You could definitely tell that these were former like creeks. You can definitely tell that. So you go from like rocky to then you see like slaty almost mm -hmm. like, and now you're going through hills, hill country. And yeah, there's definitely a lot to be seen and a lot to be done. If you've noticed, I'm in the driver's seat still. How long is that gonna last folks? That's true. Well, you got to do the last off rodeo by You yourself. didn't even wanna go. So don't <laughs> even pull that crap on me. <laughs> well, are you ready to drive Kelly? I can. I can or are you ready? <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready to do a little driving, sir. Maybe. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you don't like the whoop de whoops, do you? No. I don't like the whoop de whoops. Control issues? Maybe much. Maybe a little. Well, let's quickly switch out. Let's do it. I don't think I'm getting back in the driver's seat, what I think. I mean, you gave it up. Just saying. Well, I definitely want to get into some of that high-speed desert running areas they have. We do have helmets for something at some point. Yes, we do. So, given the option, you've got your Badlands now, which you love, mm -hmm. um, the Raptor, where would, if money wasn't an object, which one are you going for? Can I have both? No, you can only choose one. So Rebecca would be converted into a raptor, I think. <laughs> I love her, I love her, but I, I like the zoomy zooms. Yeah. Like, I like the ability to feel like I'm gonna have a smooth experience. Not like, again, we've talked about this. You know, our, our Badlands Sasquatch is amazing, but you're comparing two different vehicles. Oh, of course, of course, of and course. And two different needs and, <clears throat> and and things like that. So I feel like this is really, this is the beast. Yes, it's definitely, you know, I've not been pro Raptor for this thing, but you can definitely, after driving out here in the desert, there is, there's, there is a reason for this vehicle. Of course, we're East Coasters, so we don't get to do this all the time. So when we get to experience this style of off-roading, you know, for one, it's fun for us, but two, you see, okay, the other half of America has such <laughs> different terrain than we do. Yeah. You know? So and is this how the other half of America lives? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, one thing guys All right, Kelly. Yeah. How was that so far? <laughs> it's pretty awesome so far, and we haven't even really gotten started. It doesn't feel like it is. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got a, uh, a group of raptor, broncos, warhogs, whatever you want to call them, and uh, this looks like the halfway point. Got to stop. We're going to do a group picture here, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's drive out, guys. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Blast. Welcome to Raptor Valley. We've got a lot of fun stuff lined up for you here. So, uh, we have 16 vehicles. The first eight, that is the ones that are facing in this direction, are going to be running through our Raptor Run course. What you will expect to see there is something similar to what you would see at like the Baja 500 or Baja 1000. Very similar terrain. Uh, very fun little course that we have laid out to you for you. Uh, thanks to our good friend Bob there. And, uh, once you finish that course, you will head to our off-road course where we will do a little bit of rock crawling as a group. So we're going to explore both the high speed and the slower speed capabilities of these Raptors. Uh, the group that is in that, facing that direction is going to head over to our Ultra 4 course. So how many of you here are familiar with Ultra 4 desert racing? Great, awesome. So it combines some of the elements of high speed desert driving with some of the slower speed rock crawling stuff. 
And we will be, uh, that's the place where we'll be exploring the Raptors party piece, right? Everybody has seen all the photos of them getting airborne, and this is where you'll have a little bit of an opportunity to get your foot into it a little bit and explore the capabilities of that machine. Uh, after you have your opportunity on each course, we will then flip flop and you'll get a chance to do the other thing that you didn't do first. First thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna have a two to a car, okay? So kind of fill up, leave the driver's seat uh, available. One in the driver's or passenger seat, one in the back seat. We're gonna show you one lap around and uh, an understanding of what to expect, how to drive this, okay? When we come back here, we're gonna switch seats. I'm gonna be in the dri passenger seat and the one driver can be in that driver's seat. All right, Kelly's back there somewhere. We're, the, as you, you've seen in the video, the instructor's gonna drive us around, show us kind of the do's and don'ts. And from there, they're like, you're in the driver's seat. And, uh, and then they're in the passenger seat. Yeah, and there's a big jump. <laughs> a big jump. <laughs> big jump, and it looks a lot of fun. So I can't wait for that. And we can get airborne very well. They have this ultra, cor ultra four course set up which is, like I said, it's like King of Hammers, kind of. It's very cool. All the dust, they just came back from doing one lap. There's another one out there right now. And they're just out there having a ball, which is great. And you get to, this is where you get to experience, look at that. You get to experience it at a higher speed and kind of uh, what this thing is built for. And that's, that's the plus of this. What we did earlier was just like to get us here, which was fun, just, you know, like off-roading. But this is, uh, this is what people are into and bought the Raptors for. This is gonna be, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be slow. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be fast. Okay. I, it's gonna be at a speed where you, it might feel comfortable for maybe for you to take up two. Okay. Does that makes sense? Okay, mm -hmm. yep. Other than that, once we get in the seat, good seating position, bend in the elbow, bend it in the ease so you're not stretching for anything. Definitely want to look where we want to go. Looks like we have everyone here. Got one more vehicle out there. We're going to go ahead and enter. So this is going to be our pit out, okay? This is where we're going to start to accelerate. This is our longest straight or a good straight. Doesn't mean you have to go full throttle right away, but we want to build some speed, okay? We're accelerating, we're adding some speed. About here, we're gonna get on the brakes and slow the car down. All right, thumbs out of the steering wheel, ride the outside, and we're gonna build the speed. Not full throttle right away, but we're building. <laughs> and there's that jump, okay? If we go airborne, you come off the gas pedal. Steering wheel, thumbs out, start to brake here. We're gonna have to start going wide, start looking at the top of the hill. Slowly build, slowly build on that power. Slowly build, more, more, more. There you go. So right there, we just stayed on that power. Yeah. Kind of, we were felt, kind of a little wonky too. And I felt I was, I, I heard that on the throttle. That's okay. Keep on, on going. So but give it a little going into this first one. Yeah. A little bit. It goes more Kelly.
there is our video on the off rodeo Raptor version. And I want to say thank you to Ford Motor Company for inviting us out there. They flew us all the way out there to uh, check out the course. They know we like off roading and uh, they know we like Broncos and uh, it goes hand in hand, right? And also, I want to say a special thank you to all the instructors out there. Everybody at this thing was just top notch. The facilities is top notch, and I think uh, if you are a Raptor owner, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna experience this one. You don't don't just watch our videos. Go experience this, and I think you're gonna have the time of your life. So in the comments below, let me know what you think of this, and uh, leave us a like and maybe a subscription. It just lets other manufacturers know, hey, you like uh, when we cover off road things. So uh, and we're having fun. And funny thing is, I actually had a video. Uh, me and Kelly recorded ending this in uh, Las Vegas and the audio went away. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or these badass Raptors I got to drive this weekend, it's been your Ultra Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Man, my head is still all dirty from this. Peace.